Welcome to the Rusted Garden. This is an update video on my tomato plants that had the yellow model leaves. The plants are doing really well and it's been about two weeks since I identified the problem and treated it. And this is a really important video even though it's an update just to show you um, what can be done if you just slowly take care of a problem and don't overlove your plants with too much fertilizer and too much care and I'll explain that in a second. This is my tomato garden where I'm growing tomatoes that I want to get to one pound to two pound and you can see that yellow pattern. If you come over to this tomato down on the bottom leaves you can see the same pattern also and that's my second clue. Both plants are looking and doing the same thing. When you come over here to the third plant the leaf on the bottom has the same pattern. Now I can tell you that these leaves are looking better because of the treatment I did about a week ago. So the ago. problem with my tomato plants is they had these mottled yellowing pattern on the leaves and this is the only one that's left. I did remove a couple from the bottom but that was for really pruning and taking care of this bed. So what happened was I planted these tomatoes into bagged humus and manure that wasn't fully composted. So when I put the root system right into the ground with that product, the manure and compost weren't fully broken down. They weren't fully composted. So when I put it into the soil, soil biology started further breaking it down and that process competed for the nitrogen with my tomato plants and really was challenging them for nitrogen and this yellowing pattern occurred. The key to this is to make sure you don't panic and give them too much fertilizer, either organic or chemical combination of both, it doesn't matter, because too much fertilizer can create leaf patterns that look like too little fertilizer. So this is how they're doing now. And the treatment really was about two weeks ago, I put in a quarter strength organic fertilizer. You don't have to use that if you don't want to. That was just to give them all the major macro and micronutrients so I could check off fed a quarter strength. And I gave them fish emulsion with an organic product with high nitrogen. Those are both soluble fertilizers. What that means is the nitrogen and nutrients are immediately available to the plants. And I just want to show you that come 14 to 16 days later, they've recovered. They have been pruned um, for growing these to two pound um, single stem variety tomatoes. I'm trying to grow two pound tomatoes, so I've thinned them out a little bit. But this was the tomato that was really hurting. And it looks wonderful. No more of that mottled yellow pattern. Lots of green growth up here. I don't need to feed this anymore. If the pattern should return, let's just say, again, I would just go low and easy with an organic fertilizer or a chemical fertilizer or both. It's your choice. Either one is effective, but totally, totally worked. Everything is green, healthy, growing, took care of the problem and didn't do more damage. Hope this video was helpful. I will link it to the first video so that you can see what the problem was and just understand better how to address a yellow mottled leaf in your tomato plants. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. Thanks.